Good evening and welcome with me, uh, the director of the film, Shomi for this very um, lovely and poetic film. Um, it's based on a novel from uh, 1982, yes. I guess, yes, yes, yes. a novel with the same name. And I was wondering uh, how you um, got in touch with this novel and what was the most attractive thing for you in the novel and why you decided to adapt it. Before I ask the question, I would like to, to say thank you to all of you. Um, I'm very happy that so many people actually came to watch this my film, and it's the third time that it's been screened during this Berlinale, and I found that the reaction to, tonight was especially warm and very um, intense. So um, I'm also getting a new impression of my own film again, and I really feel a movie as a living being, I'm very happy that I watched, I watched it with you tonight. And I also have to say that Duffy is a beautiful cinema. <laughs> So, answer to the question now, uh, uh, how did I get in touch with this novel? Actually, the producer of this film is an owner of a movie theater in this small city, Hakodate. So, he told me about this novel. The name of the writer of the author's novel is uh, Yasushi Sato, and he's in Japan, he uh, was learned as almost equal to Murakami Haruki, and his rival actually, or his. Uh, it's the same level, but unfortunately he died in a young age. And so this novel was written almost about 40 years ago now, and, but the way uh, the people who are appearing in this uh, three main characters as well as the relationship between them, I thought there's something universal about it. So it kind of crosses times and uh, places boundaries, so I felt it could be also happening now. Uh, yes, I, I mean, I, I think it's a very um, universal story about a ménage à trois, something like that. Um, um, and um, a woman between two men, but um, um, somehow the story or the films um, um, puts the, the plot a little bit uh, apart. It's, it's more living out of the atmosphere. And um, it ends with a very with a very open question in the end. I was just wondering what you, how you, you develop this and um, if it's different from the, uh, from the uh, novel. Yes, uh, well, if you would like just talk about this story, what is happening in this film, it would be just very, very short. Because there's not that much happening. So I think if uh, that was the main part to have all the action going on, then I wouldn't have made a movie out of it. So the reason why uh, cinema is so interesting is because, unlike other genres of art, you can actually spend the time together with the characters. So uh, they're spending their uh, youth time together somehow, and um, uh, this is something, uh, well, when you're older, you won't experience it anymore, but while watching the film, you can, you can kind of re-experience or experience this happy time that they're spending together. And that's why I decided to make it into a film. And of course, in the novel, you have also this part where they spend this happy time together, and, you know, and uh, it's kind of a time that just never comes back. It happens in the novel as well. <lacht> Sie sind auch herzlich äh, eingeladen, Fragen zu stellen oder Kommentare abzugeben. Geben Sie uns ein Zeichen. Wenn da schon eine Frage ist, bitte. Schreien. Äh, nee, ist ein Mikrofon. Entschuldigung. <lacht> um, first of all, thank you so much for this movie. I loved it a lot. And I especially loved your actor's performance. So I know it's a big uh, question, but maybe you could say something how you work with them. Uh, 
、えー、僕もあの女優は本当に素晴らしい女優だと。Thank you. I'm glad that you liked、uh, the actress so much. I think she was quite very happy that you liked her as much. And actually, all the three actors in this film, they are quite famous in Japan. And I happened to be friends with them for a long time. And、uh, the point of my directing was also that we spent together the same kind of quality time that you see in the movie. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can add to this question that it's, the, the play is so intense because you are so close to the, to the actors and to, the, to your characters.、Uh, oh. And、uh, now we know why. <laughs> <laughs>、um, but you also、uh, did work with those actors before, that's what I learned. Actually,、uh, I only worked with the actress so far.、Uh, she was in two of my short films, another、uh, feature length film, so with her it's my fourth piece.、Uh, other questions or comments?、Uh, back there. Story with the mother, and then the decision maybe between two men, and, and all this.、Um, but then、um, I think the, the, the protagonist, the, the female protagonist, asks whether we get old if the youth, our youth, passes by. And,、um, and so I would like to know whether we should get old or not. <laughs> In mind. Yes,、uh, of course.、Um, well, it might be nice if we would stay young forever and you know, you can just hang out. And actually, I'm turning,、oh, I just turned 35 and I have to say, I can't hang out that long anymore. So, you know, I can't like party all night. I get tired. <laughs> and,、uh, but then again, I do see like elderly men, like old grandpas who are like really energetic and they probably. And they're very happy somehow, and I think they, they learned to always discover something new, and I hope I will become such an elderly person. 
例えばということで一人彼は、えー、僕のちょうど娘と同じぐらいの年齢なんで。えー But what I think is really beautiful about cinema is、um, that you actually kind of can cross generations in the,、uh, in, the, in, the making of, in the making of the movie, in the process of making the movie. So、um, I've been running the movie theater for more than 20 years, and、um, I have to say, by producing this film this time, I really made a new experience in my life, and I'm very happy about this. Since we have a producer here, we would like to ask a question maybe also to you. Because a film costs money, and there's probably also other duties of a producer in、uh, this case.、Uh, so, how were you producing this? How were you financing it? Hi. Eh. 映画を作ろうと思ったのは実はあの映画館を経営しているとですね僕の住んでる町は本当に小さなスモールタウンなので人口が26万人ぐらいの、えー、北国の映画館を経営しているとですね僕の住んでる町は本当に小さなスモールタウンなので人口が26万人ぐらいの北国の映画館を経営しているとですね僕の住んでる町は本当 260,000, so it's really small. And、um, of course, in Japan, the independent film, they, it, it's difficult to produce an independent film. It's not easy at all. But、um, I was thinking, because the, the novel is the author of, of this、uh, novel, of,、uh, which the film is based on, Yasu Shisato, he was actually born and grew up in Hakodate, in the city that I'm having a cinema in. And I thought if I would ever make a movie, If I get a chance to make a movie, I would make his novel into a movie. And this is what I did actually nine years ago with a different novel of his. The film is actually a lot of money, but the people who are in the country are in the country. Of course, I don't have the budget myself, so what, what we did is actually, we actually asked the citizen of Hakodate City to donate money. So when I did、uh, the film nine years ago my, for the first time, I produced it for the first time. What I did is for a whole year, I was actually asking people to donate. So there was a huge project for actually donating and, and fundraising this way. And this is what we did, and it got successful. And、um, I actually、uh, had This is the fourth film of、uh, this author being、uh, made of the film. So each time I was asking the people of Hakodate to donate money, and actually, yeah,、uh, that's how the budgets always came together. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Uh, other questions from your side? Otherwise,、um, Or comments, please. Ah, over there. Thank you.、Um, I really enjoyed the film. Thank you. I was featured in the film, and 
you decided to also feature them in the film as themselves. Um, can you say how that came together and how you picked them or what was the collaboration like with the musicians? Well, you know, I was actually a big fan of the music first, so I saw them on YouTube and I was like, oh, I wanted to get closer to them, so I approached them and I wanted to become friends with them. So I thought maybe they're actually really scary people, I wasn't sure, but when I approached them, they were actually really, really nice people. And I actually shot also a documentary about them. And usually they make hip-hop songs, and, but I, I thought, I think they're capable of actually making a soundtrack for a movie as well, so I approached them and asked them if they would do this kind of, this is how it happened. I would actually love to bring both of them to, for a live concert to Berlin, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, um, I think um, I would like to ask you one other question, maybe both of you, uh, about your, um, the way you find your inspiration and new ideas for new projects. Both of you, and also um, if you are planning to, to work together again. Well, I get inspiration for from uh, meeting people uh, to get to, to get to know them, and I watch many many movies. And yes, I really love Takodat as a city, and if I have a chance, I would like again to shoot a film in the city. <laughs> well, he actually said my answer, so, but I, what I can also say is definitely I also get inspiration from, from watching many, many movies and, um, you know, if you watch plenty of movies, you think, well, I would like to make a film like this, this happens, that's a great inspiration. Um, and so I have to say, uh, I always feel very thankful towards all these filmmakers who ever made films, and uh, it's, it's such a great chance, and um, about... Um, uh, working together again, um, I would love to work with them together, to get, to get uh, again together even tomorrow. Immediately. But uh, he's been so successful, he has so many offers, so I really hope I will have a chance again in a few years. Thank you very much for the wonderful and you for your excellent um, handwriting. Uh, many thanks also to the audience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah.